Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome back to the 100 Day Challenge, starring Warly, the Hungry Hungry Chef. So guys, we've made good progress. We're on day 66. We're on day 66. We got some uh, coffee planted by our little uh, base over here. Uh, we're constantly feeding eggs to sacrifice, delaying this by half a day each time we give it an egg. Look at that. Don't even try. Don't try me, son. Don't test me, child. Woo, pop that in there. We can take off our hat right now for a quick, quick second while we uh, look at our stuff. Uh, we do, we have quite a bit of meat. We could make some more rolls here. Uh, I'm kind of scared. At this point, we should just do meatballs, I think, to try to save on our meat because we're going to need uh, several. Yeah, look at that. We're going to need several eggs. Look, this, this guy's just voracious. Voracious. Taking my eggs. Where you think you going, baby? Hey, I just met you. So, how much does it make the dragoon house? What's the dragoon house cost, man? We don't have the research. We don't have the technology. Actually, I actually have no idea what a dragoon house costs us. Oh my goodness. These trees are almost full. We're gonna. God, by the time we can make an alchemy engine in here, this is gonna be done. What's that? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. We, we have enough. We have enough. To, so just these four is enough once they go full size. Actually, we have enough right now. But we're not going to. Why are you there? Why do I have you? Why? Why are you guys here? No, no, let's pop this in here. Now cook these up. Why not? Is the best Pokemans. Where's oh, a free Ash, which we don't really need in our backpack, and we gotta use the rest of these. The rest of this one shovel, that's kind of holding us back. That's our slowdown here. Well, let's... Let's just come over here and start digging. We could go farming those guys. We're going to have to. Like, we don't have enough food. Like, we don't have enough food to survive until uh, the end of the season. Let alone enough... Enough eggs to stop the explosions. We cannot be in here when the volcano erupts because we will like instantly overheat. Why did I put that in there? Okay. Alright, we're staying cool. We're cool, man. We're cool. we cool. Oh, we could easily go exploring more because we have chilled amulets. We could just let it explode. Let it explode. Let it explode. Like we, we have that technology. Don't get any closer, son. Don't you, you, you get closer to me. I'll break you, boy. I mean, now's the season to farm up elephant cacti, though. So it's kind of tough. We can't make a golden pickaxe because we didn't research it before. We can make a normal one, though. And uh, that would let us get charcoal. We'd use the charcoal to make this. That's just expensive. That's such a waste of resources to do it that way. Ooh, dog. Oh, man, we can't even make gunpowder. Can't do anything right. It's all bad. It's all terrible. No good, very bad, awful. There you can have that. And uh, let's let's go. Wee. All right, so let's let's dig. Let's dig. Cause we have this extra shovel right now. Uh, we can work on get more gold. Why not more gold? Why not more gold? That's a good question. Also, why are there so many almost dug places that I left? Woo! You know what? Nitrate too. Why not? Because we're going to need it to make uh, gunpowder. And we get another blue gem. That's That seems disproportionately high. Like, really oddly high. But, uh, yeah, you should be able to make... There are so many blue gems in Shipwrecked, you should have no problem using chilled amulets just to get through the dry season. And if you have Dumbrella, it's an extremely cheap option. It's like the cheapest option, basically. So, yeah. I, I don't want to jinx it, but I say it pretty much every season, so I don't know if it's a jinx at this point, because it has worked out most of the time. If we can survive the dry season, I think we got this. I think we got this on Warly, and that's, that's good. That's good for us. And um, I'm hoping we make it. If we can make it through this, we got it. And we still got eight more days before I'm really gonna call it. But uh, yeah, we're we're in a decent position. I'm happy. 
Feeling good. Feeling good. All right, now we're just digging up anything. We need nitrate. We need gold. We need everything. The only thing we don't need is everything, like rocks or flint. <laughs> so uh, all, all we need are the two rare ones. Or, uh, not not really rare, the more rare ones. The more elusive, the uncommon ones. So yeah, you need like one nitrate per gunpowder. Which is fine, gunpowder is amazing. You can also use it just to kill bosses and stuff, rather than wasting it on obsidian. And uh, since we don't really have a desire to get obsidian, I don't, I don't know why. Why is there not an obsidian uh, pickaxe like that? That would be brokenly good. Oh my goodness, that would be good. Uh, but the obsidian axe is actually really good if you're not glitching to like make a tree farm where you can just blow everything up or use you know Bigfoot to farm wood. Then obsidian axe is actually reasonable, like as far as balance goes. So I'm, I'm happy with that, because if you use it in winter, it's crazy! Chopping down a full-size tree in just six swings, and never- and it like gives you warmth? That's amazing! That's amazing! So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of sad. The item is definitely better in Reign of Giants, but if you're in Reign of Giants, uh, then you're probably just gonna be glitching, honestly. Because it's so much more efficient. Like, oh my god, you can get hundreds and hundreds of wood if you just take all of your uh, pine cones, plant them down, let them get to full size, and then have Bigfoot stomp it down. Or have Berger come over and knock it. Um, you don't actually have to glitch to do it that way. Like, you could just plant them as close as you can and have Berger come over and take them down, or get significantly fewer from your Bigfoot use, but. You know, like the point is, like if you you can put them much closer, if you do the uh, technique where you set them on fire when they're on the ground and then log out and they start growing, uh, things that we haven't really done. We might do that in we might do that or might have done that in the West series because we're gonna be trying to make a really nice base on him, and uh, we're not speed running or anything, but we do want to make a really nice one on him when we're done. Like first goal, first and foremost, clear the hundred days. Second, we want to get over to. Um, what's it called? Two Reign of Giants. And uh, while it's not really going to be officially survive 100 days there, we do want a lot of things from Reign of Giants. Like, we're going to want the uh, boss items, for sure, because those are amazing and awesome and excellent and beautiful. Uh, like, let's see, High Bear Nation Vest is going to be amazing. Green Gems, oh my god, those are the best. Uh, Eyebrella, we wouldn't need. Uh, we probably, like, I mean, we, like, it could be, if we don't have it already, if we don't have the, uh, Dumbrella, then we would want it, that would be good. But, uh, most likely we're gonna have the Dumbrella. Like, that's something we've been working towards really hard, and we've gotten it pretty consistently in, uh, many of these recent playthroughs, so. I'm gonna say we should have the Dumbrella. There's another blue gem, jeez. Those just seem so high from these piles, that's weird. Like, weirdly high. Get our, uh, Dumbrella back on. No! Don't burn me! Don't burn me, bro! Don't burn me! How far away are we from home? Ooh, we... We have not made that much distance. Yeah. 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 No. Uh -oh. That's fine. Uh, all of these, uh, materials will be good for our base. Oh, we probably should farm you. Is that another blue gem? Jeez! Come on, guys. There's no way this is just confirmation bias, right? Like, that's a crazy number of blue gems. Where's our home at? Let's go home. Woo, we can get home before we overheat. 100%, easy game, easy life. We got this, we got this. I'm glad things are just on fire here, because that would be annoying. Whoa. Oh, it's this way. This way, come Oh! GG no re, look at that. We're so good at this game. So good. Woo! I should like to sit by you for a minute. God, I just I'll cook you later. Ooh, we're getting hungry. What are we doing for food? Are we doing triple uh I think we're gonna have to do the triple. Oh baby, a triple actually. I could just get those birds here. How many do you want? Take that. We, we don't have enough eggs. 
to survive because we got like we got a long time to go. I think we're gonna have to work on getting food more in the future. Oh, let's follow our advice. Use that one. These are fine. We can just turn them into eggs at any time, no matter their freshness. So they're not gonna be a problem. Uh, we shouldn't be wearing the hat right now. That's technically inefficient, but oh well. Let's see. Let's put you there, and you there, and you there. And uh, we got more of you. Woo! All right, so we got our next meal. God, oh man, never put your stuff behind your fire. That's annoying. I didn't consider how annoying that would be. Okay, so we got two more sets of food, which is going to be four days plus however much we have. So we have about five more days of food without doing anything else. Uh, now we can go and kill Dragoons. Oh, no, I don't want that. I don't need the Subsidian either. Whoop. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Excellent. I wish I had a place to put you. I wish I could quit you. And, oh my goodness, I don't need you in my inventory. Why do I have an axe? Why do I have just one axe? Ooh, I know I have an axe. Ha ha! Cut this tree down. Yeah, full size baby. And we could also get snakes or eggs. Uh, any of that would be. No, don't stop that tree down yet. It's not. It's not ready. It's a baby tree. It's just a baby, man. It's just a baby. Yeah, grow. Grow for me. Grow big and strong. Uh, now, we could make an out science machine. I don't think that's enough. So, we're just going to save this stuff and try to make a... Like, these should all be done soon. Relatively soon. Soon and relatively soon don't really mesh. Actually, I do need you. Let's make our pickaxe. Let's go work on charcoal now. Let's do a charcoal run. And when we come back, we should have these things ready. All right. I think those will be done. Oh, coffee's coming in. Come in, lovely. Bleh, coffee inside me. Enough already, never enough. Seriously, it's coffee. At least take away the complaining from coffee. Come on. Why? Why would you do that? This is something you have to eat, like, twice a day. And it's so, it's so powerful, there's no way you would take a break from it, especially just to stop whining. Like, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Take, fix that. At least fix that complaining part of him. Because now we have him complaining enough already every single day. That's aggravating. Nobody enjoys that. That's bad. That's no good, very bad, awful. Ooh, I have an axe. I could chop these guys down for uh, one... <laughs> that did not last long. For one ash. That'd be fine. I'm okay with one ash. Yeah, let's do it. Woo! Boop. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I mean, we're going to need all the ash we can get eventually. Because, oh uh, yeah, we're going to have to run, 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 to fertilize like 40 of these. Ooh, there's a bunch of guys over there. We should probably fight them. Should we go over there and fight them? Let's go. Oh, it's really close to our base. I hate this place. Hate you. Come at me if you think you're hard enough. Oh. Oh. Okay, you're getting a backpack. Come at me. Come at me. Oh, God, they're too hard. Oh, yeah, get wrecked. GG. Come on, we can we can do this. Oh, we're getting close to the edge there. That's, let's get him farther away before we fight him. Ooh, more Dragoon Hearts. Whoop. Man, I can't even use these Dragoon Hearts. Like... If it wasn't for the, uh... The tree farming glitches that exist, like, I feel like Obsidian Axe would be a lot more powerful. But it's not, because they do exist, and, like, honestly, if you're making a super late game base, you really, really should use them. Because it will save you hundreds of real life hours from chopping down that many trees. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of sad that the exploit feels so important to use, just because it saves that much time. And uh, I'm fine with that. Uh, I wasn't as fine with that you know, a few years ago, but I've seen more of the speedrunners community lately, because one of my friends, uh, Danzel, 
uh, always speeds run games and the more I see it's like yeah it's there everyone knows about it so everyone if everyone's using it yeah it's fine and you can choose not to use it if you want a certain challenge run which some people do there's different percentages so it's all up to you play your game play your single player game the way you want to play your single player game Boom, it's just that easy we're getting hungry we'll have to go and eat those uh, triple metabolis soon Honestly, I should go and do that as soon as I can. Cause it's been a long time since we had one, which means we'll just have a higher belly value. Uh, are you okay with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're cool. We're cool. We're friends. We're friends now. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go eat. Shoom. Kick it into high gear. Dodge. Dodge that stationary object. So easy. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh, we're going to cool off. There goes all our poop. 20 poop. Oh, we have a bunch of charcoal to use now, though, if we wanted. Goodness. How many more do you want? How many more do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you take that one. All right, let's go. Delectable. I'd prefer some variety. 241 food. There we go. Excellente. Excellente. These are going bad, but that's... It's fine. It's fine. It's, it, that's actually is fine. We still got this. We haven't even used this. Like that's how mild the season is. You just don't really need to cool off. Just sit by this for the really short night, and uh, have yourself a really nice day. As long as you're wearing the dumbbell. Let's take this off while we're sitting by the fire. Be a bit more efficient. Uh, inside here, put up a dragoon heart. Put this away because we have the room. Uh, do we want more coffee while we're here? I guess not. We we're too slow. Let's go and get more. Are you guys not done? I was expecting you to be done. I'm disappointed in you. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Yep. And yeah. Basically, chopping these down has given us as much flint as we're using to do it. So this might actually be profitable use of flint. That's kind of weird. This one will not finish this, though. Oh, no. We're in the red. Or we're in the positive. How much did we leave with? That's that stuff. Don't mind me, lava. Ooh, it looks so pretty. Whoop. And over here. Dun dun. Hmm, you know, a lot of things we could dig up over here, but we're we're on our mission. We're on our mission for charcoal right now. Uh, now whether we're gonna use this charcoal or not to uh, ooh, free ash. Free ash, baby. To uh, kill some elephant cacti is debatable. Right now, that's up in the air. Uh, we do have six at home already. So we don't really need more. Uh, basically, we've never used them in a playthrough. Like, there's a lot of farms you can set up with them. Uh, especially if you're clever. Like, they're really exploitable. I've seen some really cool things that we could try out. Uh, none of them are things I've thought of myself course so there's things people much better than I have a uh, thought of and uh, you know good job to them uh, I can't remember any individual credits just something I've seen long ago for any type that we try I know there's like a butterfly farm you just put a bunch of flowers near them and a uh, butterfly spawn and instantly die to the cacti uh, you can surround like a dragoon house with them and uh, dragoons come out and whoop whoop Oh! Oh, doggy! Oh, oh, so scary! All right, we got it. We're the best. Number one hero. You'll find my IQ at the part of the bell curve with a y-axis value approaches at zero. And uh, I mean that in the the most rightward direction, not not in the leftward, because that would mean I had a zero IQ. That would be. Uh, verifiably false. Probably because of my ability to speak would be enough to disprove that one, that claim. Man, so much free charcoal here. Not really free, we're, we're using tools for it, but... Oh, I clicked off screen. No, it's over. The world ended. Everything's gone. We're fine. Woo! 
gonna use our walking cane as best we can. Okay. So using this, now what else are we gonna use this charcoal for? Like any like any other character, we could use this to just make a ton of drying racks, and that'd be awesome. That'd be an excellent use, and we'd feel good. We'd feel good about that use. Oh, there's another free char free ash over here. I used to think these gave charcoal. I think I said that before in a previous episode, a previous series, and we were just wrong. And I was like, well, that's disappointing. Oh well. Moving on. So yeah. So oh, so many clever farms you can do with the elephant cacti and. You know, we might try that on this character, but I don't know what we would do with it. If we set up a butterfly farm, uh, which which we might, that'd be the most tempting farm I can think of on Warley specifically, that would allow us to farm for butter, which would give us uh, fresh fruit crepes daily, which would be cheaper for us to make, especially with all the berries we have around us, to uh, continue. So you know what? That might be what we try. That might be exactly what we do. Uh, it's also one of the cheapest ones to make, so all you gotta do is plant flowers and use silk, and that's really easy to do. So, uh, I think we're gonna try that. We're, we, yeah, let's do that, let's do that. Let's do that, do that. Buddy, who that, who that? This free ash is gonna help us, uh, this mostly free ash is gonna help us catch them all. It's gonna help us fertilize our, uh... Sorry, for some reason, Sanic Chew just popped into my head and I could not get the thought out. It's gonna help us fertilize our coffee because that makes us fast, like Sonic. Boom! That's where that train of thought came from. Oh! I am a savant. That counts. Oh my god, we slowed down! I'm sorry! Ooh. Man, the longer I play this and talk to myself, the more I feel like I'm going insane. Uh, ooh, hello, sir. Ha ha! I am an accomplished butcher and you are dead! Oh, did you need a spit? Oh, I'm sorry. No! Oh my god, once burned, twice shy. He could have hit me just because I wasn't man enough. Didn't go hard enough on him. Woo, hello, hello, spitter. Woo, okay, we'll just do this the really slow way. Like, you can, you should be able to stagger lock them after a punch. We've done that all the time. I just don't feel like taking 35 damage every time I get the random cycle where they don't get locked. See, look at that, he was locked. We, we had it, we had it, we had it! Ooh, free ash. Is this it? Is this the end of our trees? I think so. What are you doing? What are you, ooh, not the end of our free trees, baby! Our trees at home should be almost done too. Ooh, another one. Thank you. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone, another one bites the dust. Yeah! Hey, you wanna dance with me? Another one bites the dust. Uh, so, I think we're gonna transform this axe into an obsidian axe. That'll give us two at home. We can use them. It's fine. You know, maybe, maybe I'll grow to love Warley before the end of the series and won't think he's completely garbage. And is, like, strictly harder to play than Wes. For any average player. Now, an experienced player, I think, will have an easier time on Warley than they would on Wes. But I think Wes would be a more satisfying experience for that player. So it's kind of a weird area where Warley is. Oh, we're getting low on sanity. You know what? We should make some toffee. Some taffy, not toffee. We should make some tar toffer. Some taffer. Some malaffer taffy. <laughs> How awkwardly can I laugh? Uh, which means at this point we're just turning these into that full size tree! You're going down! It's going down. I'm yelling timber. You better move. Ooh, it's a free egg. Lovely. Lovely baby. And of course we get the tree. Not really free, but we get two jungle tree seeds, which is good. And you can go where your daddy was. Oop. Excellent! Now up to four, Ooh, we might get that alchemy engine <laughs> for the end of this season with our five five trees. At this point, you guys should just stack. We're gonna have to cook up some stuff soon. No, where's the extra stack? There we go. Nineteen. Woo. Uh, you know what? Nineteen. You are gonna be fuel for the fire. 
Alright, there. Yeah, that's plenty for the night. Take this off. Just cook up some coffee. You know what? Let's cook up taffy. That takes a long time to cook. This should finish out the night. I think ta taffy takes a long time to cook. Isn't it 40 seconds? Uh, we could be wrong. Let's find out if we're wrong. We might be wrong. I've been wrong before. It's been known to happen. It's been known to occur once in a blue moon. Very rare, though. Very rare. Yeah, it totally takes a long time. I remember. Because every time you start using taffy as your primary sanity recovery, you usually want to have several crock pots ready. Because, uh, yeah, waiting on them one by one is painful. I don't even know if this is gonna finish before this episode ends. And we started this, like, as soon as the night ended. So that's, like, three in-game hours. Yeah, that sucks. Sucks having to wait around. There we go. Barely in time. I'm gonna go and eat you. Woo, get some of that. Get some of our confidence back. Alright, so, guys. Uh, if you liked this episode, if you liked that the dry season is close, if you liked the fact that we are on day 69... Please hit that like button. If you have any comments or suggestions, especially about characters you want to see me playing in the future, leave them down below. And as always, if you would like to continue surviving together, please hit that subscribe button. And you'll be automatically updated anytime I upload a new video. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's get it,